Hey guys, I am back again to do yet another pendulum pour. This one is going to be a little different as I am trying to make my pendulum pours just a little bit different each time. So this one I have three bottles going and I have two bottles slanted and then one bottle going straight up and down. So I've heard a lot of people say that when I do my pendulum pours that they look like spirographs or you know those little toys that you'd play with with the pens and you could trace them and they create these cool designs so I've been thinking how can I do that with a pendulum pour how can I make that possible so that's why I have three so hopefully with these going in different directions it'll give it this really really cool spirograph kind of effect so let's get this set up and see how it goes Okay, so the colors I am using today is Liquitex Basics Gold, uh, Master Touch Acrylic Pink with gold mixed in. I was trying to get kind of like a rose gold, uh, but it's more like a peachy gold, but I love it. I think it's beautiful. And then Liquitex Basics Silver. And for each of these, all I did was just mix them 50-50 with Floetrol and paint, and then water to consistency. So let's get these in the bottles and get this moving. Okay, bottles are filled and this contraption is ready to go. Um, a few concerns that I have are it's gonna be hard to like take off each cap individually before it gets going and not lose like all the paint. So I'm gonna have to work really quickly to get all three of them off. Um, on time so there's that and then I'm gonna stop them with this put that under there to catch that and then um, this is a, a big canvas for me uh, but it's just so small for some experiment like this it's a size bigger than the 16 by 20 I'm not sure what size that is sorry you guys but um, okay and I'm also like super nervous because you get one shot at this and that's pretty much it. So, all right, I'm so nervous. I'm going to actually tilt this sideways a little bit. To, oh, maybe not. Oh my gosh, I almost just lost all the pink paint. Okay, so I'm just gonna have to work really effing quickly because I did not put a lot of paint in there because with the pendulum pours, less is more. It's okay, I'd rather have it like drip off in the middle than have too much in the middle. So, okay, enough talking, let's go. Definitely a lot messier than I was hoping for. So I really need to work on the flow of that. And it turned out way different than I was thinking it was going to. So let me get this out of the way and then I will bring you guys in for a close up. All right, here is our close-up. It's very spotted with the rose gold and the real gold. And I think that's maybe because I might have made it just a little too thin. So it's pretty chaotic, but you know what? Even though it is, I really, really like this. 
there's just so much to look at with this piece. I mean, there's so much going on and it's hard to believe that it was done in one layer. So I'm really proud of this piece. I hope you guys like it. Give it a shot if you want to. I would love to see that. As always, tag me so I can see it and then I can feature you on my story. And let me know what you guys think. Um, all right. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and I will see you guys next time.